G'day everyone, I'm back at my upside down home site, which has got to be the trashiest um, site that I've ever been to. I've um, detectors over there having a break. I went up the top of the hill, I've got another rubbish dump up there, bottle kind of dump, that mound that I wouldn't mind digging out when I get a chance. Um, that looks like another rubbish mound there. I just pulled a couple of um, buttons off the surface over there. The main reason I was turning the camera on is because over here where I was standing, I'm not sure if there's more trash up in under these dead trees just here, but if you look down on the edge of the track, you see all this broken glass and stuff. Well, I haven't even needed the metal detector, but there are all the snap lock buttons and safety pins I've pulled out so far. The reason I turned the camera on is because, let's hope I can find it again. Oh, just to give you an idea, like, I'm going to call this zipper hill the way it's going, like, zipper, zipper, more snap lock buttons, snap lock, snap lock, snap lock. No idea what that bit of chain is. We'll get that out of here before it disintegrates. Oh. Uh, yeah, the reason I turned the camera on is I just spotted this guy with a shank. I'm hoping it's going to be something good. Yes! Yes it is. Another Australia Military Forces button. Come on, focus camera. Hang on, let me drop that stuff. Focus. Yep, Australian military force. Sweet. Happy with that. We still got the shank. Surface find. Alright, so I thought I'd um just turn the camera back on. I thought I'd just keep putting along, see if I could spot any more of those military buttons. And I've just eyeballed something when I turn the camera on little um shoe buckle or something there and then cross uh i hope i can find it again oh yep all right guys can you see it one two three got a coin and that looks silver oh yeah sixpence 1950 50% silver on the surface no detector needed she's a bit cruddy it'll be Queen Elizabeth but awesome I knew there was going to be more here sweet happy with that military button and a little bit of silver alrighty back again come in with a little sniper coil this time try and get around all the rubbish and all the buttons or snap lock buttons anyway there's a what looks like something yeah there's another one Get some shade for you Look at the snap lock um but it's got a 70 high 70s low 80s signal and this is where i found that army button the other day just could put a buckle out and this is a different type i don't have this one no idea what that's from if anyone knows leave a comment down in the comment section be greatly appreciated all right, we'll keep going. Okay, guys, I'm just um, trying to grid out where this rubbish down here starts. So I've come over by the tree, worked my way up, um, just in that little gra glass, that grass clump there. I've um, pulled out an old metal lead pewter toy gun, but it was um, in pieces got the handle with the revolver and then the barrels in about two or three different bits it's down by the bucket I'll show you later uh, worked my way up pieces of scrap copper 
and then come up beside the timber here. Like I said, I'm just trying to map out where all this rubbish is coming from because I know there's another rubbish pile over there on the other side of this washout. But I think all of this here is trash as well. It's going down to where the bucket is. So first decent signal on the other side of the tree and got this buckle and I wasn't gonna film it, but when I hit it with the brush, I noticed it's a, um, got an emblem on it. I think it's EF Co, line and a shield. So some type of cricket or sports buckle I'm assuming. Missing the pin obviously, but you can see where it would have um, latched in. So that's different, don't have one of those. Got a decent 66, 67 signal. And this thing just popped out. Didn't think much of it when I saw it from that side, but when I turned it around, got a bit of fancy on it. I think, maybe a piece of handle. These things are throwing me off, but I'm assuming there'd be like a, a bar going through there and that'd be your pull handle, maybe on chest of drawers or something like that. I'm not sure. It's like a solid piece of brass, but. Um, and other finds so far, we got one more buckle. This fooled me, but it's um, a button, and I think it's like a tomback. It's steel, busted shank on the back. Can't see any design on it. Got this thing which had me going, but it's just a piece of copper. Copper or brass cap. And then here's what's left of the toy gun. I think that's the handle. And. Oh. Bit of the barrel, another piece there. So that's about it so far and what I've already shown. Um, so I decided just to start raking off all the surface litter, plucking out all these little snap lock buttons and bits of rubbish and then I'll go over it with the detector. Oh, there's another one there. I never end these things. Oh. Hoping to find another Australian military button in here. But I um reason I stopped is I did just find something interesting. This guy just popped out. I've just given it a clean up with the toothpick and the brush. I got no idea what it's meant to be. Okay, now I do. Lady sitting under a palm tree. No, I was holding it this way thinking, what the hell is it? Well that's different. Yep, definitely a lady under a palm tree from the looks of it. Wow. It's really weird because it's obviously some kind of buckle but it doesn't look like there was anything on the back for it attached to. All I can see is the imprint of the design. There's no um, name on it that I can see. So yeah, that's a first. Definitely weird. So I've got no idea what what it's meant to attach to or if it's from a piece of clothing or maybe belt. Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty cool. Okay, wrap up time from the upside down home site. Revisited last trip in and this is basically everything I got from that little patch in the bottle dump. Ah, uh, sorry, button dump. Um, so yeah, we've got this fancy escutcheon drawer pool furniture piece. Um, I think these are suspender buckles, I'm not sure. Uh, you saw me clean this one up with a lady sitting under the palm tree and I just cleaned this one up this morning. Looks like either someone diving into the water or lady doing a backflip. Um, we got the one coin, the 1956 pence. Uh, I thought this was a bale, bale seal but it turns out to be a button and it's really weird because it weighs a ton. I'm almost sure that that's lead which I thought was pretty strange for a button. Uh, got a clock winding key made in England. A little square hole on the bottom there into the clock to wind it up. Uh, a couple of four hole brass buttons couple of flat buttons, most of them still got the shank. Uh, if I didn't know any better I'd say that's Tomback looking at the material and this one looks like it had some 
possibly gold leaf plating or something on it, not sure. Tried finding a maker's mark, but can't see any on there. But yeah, a couple of nice flat buttons there. Fishing sinker. Um, we got the buckle, and I think it's EFCC. <clears throat> Maybe cricket club or something like that, I'm not sure. Can't quite make out the detail on that one. And then an array of other buckles. Um, I think that's one of the hands off the old clock. Uh, another buckle there. Can't remember what that one said. Kazel or... Yeah, no, I'll let you guys read that one. Gazbo. Don't know, with a little uh, dove underneath it. Probably a cricket buckle. So yeah, not too bad guys. I oh, yep, can't forget the key as well. But um, yeah, happy with that sixpence coin on the surface. And yeah, some nice buttons, nice buckles. Uh, hope to get back there in the next couple of weeks, see how we go. But heading west again, so that's a wrap up from there for this hunt, but lots more to find. Lots more area to cover. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get back there soon and keep going on it. There's, um, I found a bit more of a bottle dump further up the hill as well. I wouldn't mind having a dig out, but it's a lot of work for one person. Alright guys, hope you like it, and I will see you on the next one.